Hello YouTube, Mr. Jehun here. I'm so excited today, as always. So I, have, I haven't uploaded like videos for almost 26 days, probably. But this is Memorial. Today is Memorial Day, and I wanted to make it memorable. So I'm gonna roast. I'm gonna do the easiest barbecue ever. I'm gonna roast this whole lamb, this beauty. Uh, with you guys so let's go ahead and do it together I'm gonna keep it very simple so I'm gonna salt it first I'm gonna use kosher salt be generous with the salt oh man it's heavy Put a lot of salt inside. Everywhere. I hope it's gonna fit my spit. I'm gonna rotisserie, rotisserie this on, on a spit, so we'll see. So plenty of salt. I'm gonna keep, as I said, I'm gonna keep it very simple. I know my Greek friends make this rotisserie lamb uh, during Easter or Christmas but there is an I don't have to have an excuse to make it so I can do that all the time here they got rub top nice I'm gonna use one more thing in this my touch to give it some color and some more flavor. I'm gonna use Halal Barbecue Pitmasters Texas Tandoori Rub. Yes, it's gonna give it a good color and also a good flavor. Let's go ahead and rub it. You see, Texas Tandoori, baby. So our baby is ready. I'm gonna bring the spit and put it on the rotisserie thing. Then we'll see how it's gonna work. So it's time to put our baby in the spit. I'm gonna follow this hole. Go. Okay. That was a hustle to put the spit in because it's a big lamb, but we're gonna make it work. This lamb is so big. I'm gonna use this galvanized thingy. Oh, getting quite messy. I'm gonna tie, tie it like, don't make it so tidy because it's gonna shrink while cooking, so. This part is done. Now it's time to sew this part. Basically I'm gonna close this to keep all the juices, the goodness inside of this baby. I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top like this, then I'll come back.
Ladies and gents, our lamb is ready to go to the grill. But I'm gonna let it rest for 25 minutes. I'm gonna uh, heat up my grill, uh, my grill or spit, whatever you call it, heat source. Then we put this on the rotisserie. See you in a bit. Watch that. Okay, it's time to start the fire. Okay, let's go ahead. First I'm gonna use some wood, then I'll add charcoal on it. It's gonna be a slow cook. We'll see you in a bit. It's gonna be done in 10 to 15 minutes. I don't want it to, the charcoal to be just white totally because it's gonna be a long process, slow cooking slowly. I, want, I don't want the outside to be cooked and the inside to be underdone. So basically it's gonna cook slowly. So, our lamb is rotating. It's gonna take around four, four and a half hours cause it's gonna be a slow cook. These will be done. So as you can see, I didn't put any coals in the middle because I, the belly is gonna burn otherwise. So I mostly use the, the heat for the shoulder and the legs. The middle is totally empty. And as you can see, I didn't put the charcoals like totally white. They're gonna burn slowly. I'll see you guys in four hours to see how it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> 
So our baby lamb is ready. It's not a big, it's a big baby, but outside was too crowded, so I wanted to do it here. So we're gonna do a test taste with this Texas Tandoori rotisserie lamb. So it took us around four hour, 45 minutes. I'm, pre I'm not sure if it's cooked all through, but some parts are pretty good. Look, can you hear that? I'm gonna grab a piece here from here, the leg. Look at this. Look at the juiciness. You wanna see? Mmm. Doesn't taste gamey or doesn't smell as good, probably because of the salt and the tandoori rub. So this is it, everybody can do it. Happy Memorial Day. You can do it at home, you, maybe one day if you try it. If you can't, you can call me, I'm just kidding. So this is it, rotisserie lamb. Look at this, falling apart. Just doing one more. Oh, it's hot. Okay. I'm gonna dig in. See you next week. Until then, God bless. Take care.